Hi, welcome back. If you are new to this channel, then I am Nova Moon and I run a small business called Nightshade Bloom. So today I was planning on doing a tutorial video on how to make kiss cut stickers, but I thought I would do it a little different this time than how I did my last tutorial video. I decided why not make this into a vlog. So this is my first official vlog. So you guys are gonna come along with me, kind of like a day in the life, but across like two days. So I'm going to be making my stickers, but first I need to make my designs for it and whatnot. And so yeah, just a heads up, if you do wanna fast forward to the part where I am showing you how to make kiss cut stickers, then forward to this time here. If not, enjoy the video. <laughs> So before I start anything, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wipe down my desk just so that it's nice and clean and I can get ready for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make myself a nice cup of coffee. Nothing feels better than just a nice hot cup of coffee in the morning. So now what I want to do is just set up my to-do list for the day. So I'm actually going to create a to-do list on Canva so that I can include that in this video so you guys can see what's in store for this video. So this is the part where I gotta do my hair because I'm going to be making lots of videos across the next couple of days and with curly hair, it is easier to just straighten it so that when I'm making the videos and I'm getting ready, it's just real quick because curly hair can get knotted in a matter of like 10 minutes and it's a lot. My hair's shorter now, it's easier to handle, but it's still a lot, so. Sorry for the glare in my glasses. I need to wear these because I can't see and I don't have contacts. So usually I'm blind, kind of blind when I am filming my videos. But yeah, it's my hair. I washed it yesterday and I'm straining it because I didn't straighten it yesterday and I feel like doing it, so. All right, I have got to comb out the knots like in my hair first, which this brush from TJ Maxx, oh my God, you cannot see. Well, it's for thick and curly hair and it works wonders because with a regular brush, it takes forever to like come up the knots in my hair, but this just goes like straight through and it's like a wonder. Like, look at this. With a regular brush, uh-uh. <laughs> it would not go this smoothly. Luckily, there is not as much knots because like I got a lot of it yesterday, but yeah. So my hair is done now. Don't mind the glare of my glasses again. But yeah, now I'm gonna go get some soup because I'm hungry and I want soup because my tummy's not feeling good. And then we're gonna unbox some packages that I just got. There should be like two of them, but I don't know if they're all here yet, so yeah. off my glasses again so there will be no glare when I film this video. Yeah, check out my soup mug. It's my hero theme. Oh my god, can you see it? There we go. 
Yeah, so I'm just gonna talk about some things while I am eating my soup, so don't mind me. <laughs> so I'm like really hoping for two things. One, that I can finish this design I have in my head um, all today so that I can print and cut it tomorrow for the video and then post it tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should have done it earlier, but I was like working on other things other projects which I will talk about later on and you will see. So I hope these designs turn out well. I'm basically creating a new character but not to crochet it for the stickers. Um, it's gonna be like planner stickers, um, well just like journaling stickers because I do journal. I like journaling. I always wanted to go for it like just do some like journaling stickers but I haven't yet but these are gonna be cute and spooky at the same time. So cute spooky journaling stickers but you don't have to use it for journaling but they're will be some things on it that like n you know do go along with journaling so it makes sense it, i don't know what i'm saying half of the time i really hope you guys understand me so yeah don't mind like this stuff in the background here so if you guys do not know i teach you guys don't know you guys wouldn't know this is the first time i'm telling you but <laughs> so i teach english to students in china it's great because I work from home. I wake up at 4 a.m. Um, and then I'm done in the morning. I take a small nap. And so that's why it's already like late. It's getting really dark outside. So half of the day is already done. It's almost done and I still got lots to do. But yeah, so this is like for teaching aspects. But um, yeah, my whole desk area is getting changed. This whole area, my whole desk area, office space, whatever to call it, it's gonna transform. I'm gonna look much better. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I struggled with what to do with my desk. And I don't know if you can see it in like my artwork, but like my designs and whatnot, and just like my space in general. I'm all over the place, like with what I like. So I really like spooky things, horror, all that stuff. But then I also like really, really cute things. And so it's always like a struggle, but you could do spooky and cute. But there's like a big struggle with like my style, how I design my room and everything because it's like, there's all these different things I wanna do, you know? So like my style's all over the place. I think you would see that <laughs> when you keep watching my videos and also like, yeah, my room's all over the place. Like I have so much going on. This room is like red, black, and white. I'm really like loving purple lately my whole store is based off of a theme of purple and everything so i was like this area should be purple so i was looking for spooky things for this desk space and i ended up not doing spooky but more of like a moon star space thing which you guys will see you guys will see later on yeah be another video when i transform my desk area it's gonna look completely different ready order this stuff but some stuff is not coming till march so i can't hmm can't film it till then but yeah, let's move on to my unboxing of the packages I got that correlates with my whole desk space, you will say. So one of my two packages have arrived, but this is for my new desk space. I will unbox it. Wow, why did I think it was so much harder than that to like open this thing? I even had my like scissors prepared. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is my keyboard for my new desk space. Okay, I guess I should open it now. Obviously, because, you know, yeah, I'm just gonna open it now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to put this to the side after I open it and take a look at it because I need to wait for everything else to arrive so that I can basically make a whole video of doing a desk home office transformation video makeover yeah i don't know what it's gonna be called yet that's yeah oh my god wait hold on my excitement just went way up the roof because it came with stickers and if you know me not just because i make stickers but before that I'm obsessed with like buying a whole bunch of stickers. If you guys want to see my sticker collection, let me know and I can make that a whole video because I have lots of stickers. I mean, for journaling, non-journaling, 
I have lots of stickers on my laptop, all this stuff. Anyway, it came with the stickers. I don't know if you could see it. Maybe I gotta block my face for it to like focus, but it came with stickers. Okay, this is the mouse. We'll take a look at this first. Okay, hold on. There we go. I think you guys can see this now. But oh my god, it's so cute. I'm gonna put it back because again, I have to keep this on the side for a month until my desk mat comes in. And that's the one that's gonna take forever. So as long as that comes in at a decent time, then I don't have to wait that long to show you guys. Okay, hold on. I'm so excited. This looks so much better than how it did online. I mean, let me not drop this on this. Kind of gonna hide here. Hopefully, you guys can see that good. But holy crap. This is just so cute. All right, I love this. Okay, just wanted to say, I've always been in love with like, okay, let me put this so it's not making too much noise. So I just wanted to say that I've always like been in love with like the cute gamer girlies because I mean, their whole setup, the aesthetics and everything is just so cute. But like, like I game, but I'm not a gamer, if that makes sense but I game with like my PlayStation or like my Oculus VR headset. So yeah, I don't have like the whole computer monitor gaming thing set up. So I was always like, well, I can't have a cute aesthetic like desk space cause I'm not a gamer. But then I was like, I don't need to be a gamer to have a cute desk space. Like, you know what? We just gonna do it. Have a cute space without being a gamer. It's just a regular desk space. I don't know. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right, now to clean my desk again because of outside packages. And yeah, so it's already late, it's like six. Honestly, I don't think I'll be able to finish this design, design by tomorrow. So I'm going to have to print other stickers um, that I already have made previously. I'll just print more of it, like, I guess bulk up the inventory so I can do a tutorial on how to cut kiss cut stickers using the silhouette portrait three but yeah still gonna design still a part of my day so I was talking a lot in this drawing video but I cut all of that out so I could just show you guys a little bit of me drawing and then just recorded a time lapse on clip studio paint i was kind of going for this spooky cute bear with bat wings and everything is all over the place for now but i'm gonna fix it up once i do the outlines but you cannot see that here because i didn't get to finish all right so it's getting late <laughs> um i'm gonna eat again but uh yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it here because the rest of the day I'm just gonna have to film a reaction video. And then we're gonna cut to tomorrow where I get to show you how to make stickers. So, yeah. Hey guys, so it's next day and I'm gonna go ahead and start this tutorial. Ready started my day. But yeah, um, since I couldn't finish my designs yesterday, I'm just gonna go ahead and print out some more of these which comes with my comfort dolls. So, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna set this up as a new document. I already have these already set up, um, but we'll just start it over for the tutorial. So you're gonna go ahead and open the sticker that you wanna have printed. Okay, so first we're gonna go over here to page setup. Just like I talked about in my last video, you're gonna click this icon here and you're gonna turn on the registration marks. Okay, and then you're gonna go over here to position and set and you're gonna move this all the way to the left which will drag this out and give you more space. And then you're gonna go ahead and then size up your file to what you want it to be. Okay, so you sized it to where you need it to be. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna hit open the trace panel. And then you're gonna hit select trace area. 
and then you're gonna select everything that you want to be cut that's inside the sticker we're not going to worry about the outside yet so once that is selected we're going to go over here to threshold and we're going to move it until it's like completely filling our stickers and you're going to have to play with this a couple of times to make sure that it's like perfect um you don't want it to be too much because then that will happen but um you're just going to play around see where you need it to be and then once you get it to where you need it to be you're gonna hit trace outer edge and it's gonna go ahead and create a ring around everything okay so from here we're gonna open the offset panel and then you're gonna make sure that you select like the red line on the inside um, once the red line is selected you're gonna hit offset and then now from here you're gonna go ahead and fix the distance for how you want it to be. And then when you get it to where you need to be, um, you're just gonna go ahead and hit apply. Okay, so one thing that you can do, let's zoom in. You see how there is like an inner red line and an outer red line? You're gonna go ahead and select the inner red line and then you're gonna right click and you're gonna hit delete. Then that's gonna get rid of the inside red line. Okay, and so now you have your cut lines for the inside stickers. Okay, so now we want to cut the outside. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit this box here, which is a rectangle. We're gonna change this to purple because we want this to have a different cut line because depending on the color you have, um, you're gonna set up different cut settings for the specific color. So now that we selected purple, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to create a box around the whole sticker. Okay, so you have your purple line around the sticker. What you can do now is you're going to go ahead, click on the select button, select everything. You know, now you can move around to where you need to be if you need to resize it or whatnot. And then you're going to edit copy and then you are going to paste your next sticker and you're gonna fill up the whole page. So this is a document I had set up previously. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go hit print. And then you're gonna go ahead and just print it out. Again, sorry for the glares, but um, it printed out purple. So from time to time, my printer does print things off color for whatever reason. Anyway, I can't afford to get a new printer right now, but we're gonna cut this for the sake of the video and then I'll just end up keeping these stickers for like my journal stacks or something. Okay, so I switched back to my pen because I only have one port, so this has to be connected. But um, we're gonna go ahead now, we're gonna hit send. Okay. And then now since we have two different lines, it's gonna go very differently. So I didn't put a laminate over these stickers like I did in my last stickers in my last video, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, you can pause the screen and I'm gonna put up the settings on the screen for die cut stickers, for die cut stickers with a laminate. Then I'll show you the settings for kiss cut stickers and then a kiss cut stickers with a laminate so that you get all four different settings depending on what you're working with. So right now we're selected, we're under line, and we're under purple. So the purple is going to be the die cut part. So this time, unlike my last video, since I don't have a laminate on it, we're gonna keep it on sticker paper white. Um, so that's gonna stay the same. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure our blade's at five. Then we're gonna make sure our speed's at eight which it is, our force is going to be 28. And then our pass is gonna be two. Our pass is, sorry. <laughs> All right, so that's set up. And we're gonna set up the kiss cut settings. So now we're gonna set it, we're gonna keep it on sticker paper white, that is fine. We're gonna keep the blade up to two. The passes are gonna stay at one. The force is actually going to move to four. Um, that is basically the only thing that's getting moved. 
is just that. Okay, so force is four, and then the speed can stay at eight, and then that will be staying the same. So that would be your kiss cut settings. And then you're just gonna go ahead, um, you're gonna set up your document, and you're just gonna hit send, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so make sure you have it lined up. Um, just like I mentioned in the last video, line it up to this line here. Um, and then you're gonna hit the arrow up button and it's gonna grab it. <laughs> yeah. And now, my friends, we hit send. All right, so now we have the stickers finished cut. So we can go ahead and we can peel away. So you have your stickers and you can go ahead you can peel. Now you have Kiss Cut stickers. If you made it this far into the video, then I really thank you and I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for watching my first vlog. Um, this is something new for me. I'm still learning this platform, so thank you for your patience. Um, and thank you for watching again. <laughs> so like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned to my future vlogs. And also, I will be doing something new called Nighttime Reactions with the Nova Moon, which are gonna be on Friday nights, so stay tuned for that. <laughs>